Hello. It's me. I, about two videos ago now, I guess probably depending on when I upload things, uh, did a video uh, reviewing makeup. Uh, the Vampire Cosmetics and Silent Hill collaboration. And in that I talked about, oh my gosh, how nice is it to join two things that I love together that maybe you wouldn't expect to see together. And that's what we're going to be doing again today. This is where we're combining two things that I love dearly. I think I've maybe vaguely mentioned it slightly before. One of my great loves besides horror and internet horror is drag. I love all forms of drag. I think it's an incredible art form. I, you know, try to go to as many local shows as I can, but I do live pretty rurally, so I can't always get out to more local shows. But, you know, I love RuPaul's Drag Race and I love the Blu-ray Brothers Dragula. And drag is just something that has brought both me and my husband a lot of joy in the past few years. If I'm not watching horror content on YouTube, I'm probably watching drag content. And one of my favorite drag YouTubers is named Runner Eye. And he does this drag race simulator quite frequently on his channel. Uh, so that's how I found out about it. And please, if you're into this sort of stuff, go watch his videos because they're so funny. He recently did one for Halloween that was like horror girlies on Drag Race, so like Megan and Pearl and um, Amanda Young and people like that and Sadako and it was so funny and that was the one that really kind of put this glimmer in the back of my head so credit where credit is due. Blitch Witch's Drag Race could not happen without Runner Eyes Drag Race. So uh, I'm gonna take <laughs> two things that I love, Analog Horror and Drag Race, and I'm going to run the very first season of Glitchwitch.jpegs drag race. Glitchwitch drag race. JPEG, start your engines. Glitchwitch drag race. May the best scary face win. Glitchwitch drag race. JPEGs. <laughs> Glitchwitch drag race. May the best scary face. Best scary face win. Just to prove to you that I'm serious, I, you know, I've shown my intruder tattoo. Right next to my intruder tattoo is is my Katya Zamo tattoo. I love drag. It's great. Last year I got to meet, last year, this year, oh, I don't know what year it is. This year I got to meet Trixie Mattel and Katya, and I got to show Katya my tattoo. It was very exciting. I also got to meet the Boulay brothers and uh, three of their titans. And if you're into horror and you're wanting to get into drag but not sure where to start, I would suggest the Boulay brothers Dragula because they're spooky. It's like spooky drag race, but also fear factor. It's kind of gross, but I love it. Anyway, gonna lay some ground rules. I have 12 contestants. I am doing, and by the way, this is this drag race simulator. It is on myrainbow.github.io. I'll link it in the video description so you can have your own drag race. <laughs> but again, ground rules. I'm doing a normal premiere, but I'm doing no elimination because I like when there's a no elimination premiere on Drag Race. Um, there's an option for a returning queen format. I'm doing the Lala Perusa, which is where the queens will do a massive lip sync to see who can stay, come back in the competition. I'm doing a regular season format where they lip sync for their lives, the bottom two. This is not, maybe we'll do all stars one day if this becomes a recurring thing. I don't believe that it will because this is so niche. I'm mostly making this for me. Uh, and then my finale format, I'm going to do a top three. I think sometimes there's too many. <laughs> Don't want to do a top five. Glad the season 14 was a top five because they were all fierce as hell. But I'm, mm, we're not doing that on Glitch, which is drag race. So I guess I should say, because there may be some people that are watching this because they like analog horror and have watched my content before and don't know anything about drag race. Essentially, RuPaul's Drag Race is a long-standing competition show where a handful of drag queens compete in various challenges to become the next drag superstar and you know there's comedy challenges dancing challenges singing lip singing design there's just a lot of stuff this isn't just project runway where you do one thing you have to do a bajillion things so it's incredibly entertaining and incredibly impressive 
uh, what the competitors of this show are capable of doing. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to the cast of season one of Glitch Witches Drag Race. I just screenshotted the cast so that I would remember later. So, and I don't want anyone bitching that I didn't include your favorite analog horror character. This is Glitch Witches Drag Race, okay? You can go make your own. And that's your spinoff series, baby. I'm doing what I want to do. So, here, here is the cast of Glitch Witches Drag Race. We have Dave Lee from the Mandela Catalog. We have none other than Lieutenant Thatcher Davis from the Mandela Catalog. Which, if we have to pit those two girlies against each other, it's over. We have The Intruder from the Mandela Catalog. I promise it's not just Mandela Catalog, but it does have more characters than pretty much every other Analog Horror series. Gabriel from the Mandela Catalog. The diva is diva, they're ever diva. I'm excited about this one. Kind of a wild card choice. The special train from the Monument Mythos. We'll see what she can do. <laughs> President James Dean from the Monument Mythos. We know that this queen can act. We know it. And then we have Freedom from the Monument Mythos. Very large, very frightening. There is someone larger and more frightening than Freedom though. Just wait, just be patient. We have a comedy legend. Gilbert Garfield from Gilbert Garfield, followed by Jack Walton from The Walton Files, a design legend. Think of all the animatronics that he has furnished. I would watch out on the design challenges competitors. Kranken from The Walton Files, who is responsible for the death of Jack Walton, his business partner's children, in a horrific drunk driving accident. So we'll see how that pans out. I said there was someone bigger and scarier than Freedom. Baby, it's the moon from Local 58. What will she do? <laughs> and last but not least, my cat is climbing. And last but not least, maybe some would consider her a baby queen compared to the rest of these formidable opponents, but I wouldn't count her out. We have Paul Morelli, the foreman, the construction foreman of Morelli Construction from Greylock. So we got a good spread here. I will say I went in personally and gave them their stats on comedy, acting, dance, design, all that based on how I perceive them as characters. To my favorite characters, I was, cause Dave Lee's stats are atrocious. If I could rig this whole thing, Dave Lee would win, but I highly doubt that Dave Lee's gonna win. <laughs> so, without further ado, there's my cat. He's very excited about this. He's been waiting for the season one of, of Glitch Witch's Drag Race. Let's simulate this. Although I do want to say, this is, this is my drag race and I get to decide all of the ridiculous details. My judging panel, I'm going with other horror YouTubers. <laughs> So, my Michelle Visage, I'm RuPaul, obviously. That's why I'm not wearing any makeup and I have glasses on. I'm more for RuPaul. It's not because I still have a sty and don't want to put makeup on the sty. My Michelle Visage, I'm going to choose Hannah the Horrible. She's my favorite female horror YouTuber. She's covered analog horror, and I think she's ready to give some tough love if necessary. Um, My Carson Crossley would be Wendigoon. I can't explain why. It just feels right to me. And then my hilarious Ross Matthews would be Nightmind because also, you know, could give some good critique, but like, you know, he's a silly guy. He's got a little, he's a little evil kitty cat. Is that not hilarious Ross Matthews? I don't know. And then we'd have guest judges. I'm gonna say like your, your, I don't know. I was gonna say like Alex Kister and like Martin Walls and stuff, but wouldn't they just be biased towards their own creation? So I don't know. Kyle Edward Ball, I would love to have on a guest as a guest judge. 
on Glitch Witch's Drag Race. I know that he loves he loves the divas, he loves the dolls, so I'm sure he would come on. Okay, let's get simulating. Okay, so first off, we have to choose a contestant that will miss the premiere. So, let's look at our options here. What do we think? I mean, so many of these people are damaged and have issues that would lead them to missing the premiere. But I'm going to say the moon's going to miss the premiere because it's just such a far distance, you know? Like... Everyone else, we got people coming from Wisconsin, we got people coming from Michigan, we got people coming from Washington. I don't know where Gilbert Garfield lives, but I feel like he would be prompt. And I don't know, Paul seems on his on his on his stuff. And the special tree, while it is a rooted tree, I don't know. I think that the moon is the answer. It's just such a far distance to travel. And you know, I'm gonna choose to as I don't know what the simulation will do, but as the RuPaul of this all, I'm not going to hold it against the moon because that is such a far way to travel. And we took a risk. We took a risk casting a queen that's not from planet Earth. Okay, we're going to proceed. Okay, so today, first mini challenge. In today's mini challenge, the queens will do wigs with noodles. And you want to know the diva that won? The intruder won this mini challenge. My headcanon is that the intruder is walled underneath the hoodie. Oh my god! I know that a lot of people... Do not agree with that because of the way that he looks in like the second design but if you've watched my intruder design various designs video which you should go watch for sure if you like the Mimo catalog i don't like that design i reject it i rebuke it so i think that the intruder just popped that noodles right on his bald little head and slayed the house down boots with that mini challenge. So good, we have a front runner right now. Although I will say the winners of the mini challenges are not necessarily the front runners, but let's see. Okay, so the Queen's Branch of the Runway, that's the Maxi Challenge. It's it's a runway challenge, it's a design challenge. The category is candy. Uh, Jack Walton slayed the challenge. We knew this would happen because Jack Walton is a designer. Jack Walton is a fabricator. I would love to see a gown designed by Jack Walton. Oh no, okay. Paul Morelli, President James Dean, Special Tree, Freedom, The Intruder. All did, they, they did really good. They had a great performance. They didn't win, but they had a great performance. So good on them. The Intruder is a front runner right now. Uh, Gilbert Garfield, Gabriel, and Dave Lee, they did okay. Not great. And then Felix Franken and Thatcher Davis had a bad performance. I'm nervous. I would love to see Felix Franken get out of this competition right away. I know I shouldn't say this as a judge. I'm not actually a judge. The computer is judging all of this. But if I was in charge right now, you know, I don't need her. Thatcher Davis, that's one of my, my blorbos. So I'm nervous. But I will say that I cheated. <laughs> I will say I did not show favoritism. In one aspect of the stats, and I did give Thatcher Davis higher stats in like performance and lip syncing and stuff like that because his actor is a professional musician. Why would I kill? Why would I slay? If that's cheating, I don't care. This is my drag race. So let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm nervous. So the top three are Jack Walton, the special tree, and the intruder. See the intruder with the mini challenge and then this? Mm -hmm. Freedom, President James Dean, Paul Morelli, Gabriel, Dave Lee, Gilbert Garfield, Felix Trinkin, and Thatcher Davis are safe. I forgot that I set the first episode as a non-elimination. So we're good. We're safe. Thatcher, you gotta step your pussy up next episode. Uh, Jack Walton wins. Not at all surprised by that because it's a design challenge, baby. Um, but Special Treat and True did a great job, and they're also safe. This is shaping up to be interesting already. Let's, let's proceed. Okay, I, Glitch Witch, have one last announcement. The real competition is just about to begin. I'm introducing a new queen to the race, and you want to know who that queen is? It's the moon. She made it. <laughs> so let's see what happens next week. Okay. So we have progress here. 
again, we have Jack Walton is the top right now, but everyone else kind of in the middle. We're going to see what happens. Proceed. Okay, in today's mini challenge, the queens will do nails with the pit crew. If you're not familiar, the pit crew are big buff hunky men that wear barely any clothes that come and help RuPaul out. So in this case, help glitch witch out. Morelli won the mini challenge, so they're going to get a small advantage for the maxi challenge. I love when a rough and tough, you know, guy can, can slay some nails. So good job, Paul Morelli. So the maxi challenge. Queens will improvise in a pageant. So we got a comedy challenge here, improvise. The Miss Loose Jaw pageant. And here are the performances. Gilbert Garfield slayed. Of course, Gilbert Garfield slayed improv. Look at the material. James Dean, Dave Lee, and Gabriel had great performances, which I believe. All three of them are secretly really funny. Jack Walton, Felix, The Moon, Thatcher, Special Tree, Paul, and The Intruder, they did good. Freedom fought the challenge, though, which I can understand. I think Freedom is not quick on their feet when it comes to comedy. There is a chance that Nina and her father are fighting inside of Freedom on who should say what. You know, they really got to get... Like, Freedom has a literal inner saboteur because there are two people inside of Freedom. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, so that was just one challenge. We still have a runway challenge because this was not runway. This was a separate challenge. So let's see. The Queen's Brains of the Runway. The category is Gay Icon. Gabriel, Jack Walton, The Intruder, and Freedom Slayed the Runway. So Freedom Slaying the Runway could save Freedom. We'll see. Do I think all four of these are potentially gay icons? They could be. They could be. Well, jury's out. I think The Intruder is a gay icon. I think The Intruder is an icon to every Democrat. Paul Morelli, Special Tree, and The Moon had a great runway. They did really good. So good on them. Um, Paul Morelli, I'm watching you. You're a baby queen, but you're impressing me so far. Gilbert Garfield, James Dean, and Thatcher, they had a good runway, which, sure. Uh, Dave Lee and Felix Kranken had a bad runway, which I will say, I don't think they're serving looks. They're not look queens. That's okay. We're going to see what happens. Based on tonight's performance. James Dean, Special Tree, Freedom, The Moon, Gilbert Garfield, and Dave Lee are the tops and bottoms of the week. Gabriel, Felix, Thatcher, Paul, Jack, and The Intruder are safe. So let's move on. I'm not shocked at all. Gilbert Garfield, congratulations. You're the winner of today's challenge. Well deserved in an improv comedy challenge. You cannot be Gilbert. James Dean and Dave Lee, good job. You're safe. Happy to see Dave Lee moving on. Uh, Special tree, the moon and freedom are the bottoms of this week. I'm nervous. Special tree, you are safe. So it's going to be between the moon and freedom are up for elimination and they're going to have to lip sync for their lives. Can you imagine the show that this would be to witness the moon who does not have a mouth and freedom who also does not have a functioning mouth lip syncing for their lives? Let's see how it happens. The lip sync song is Cruel Summer by Taylor Swift. The moon and freedom flop the lip sync. It's probably because they don't have working mouths. Ooh, let's see what happens. The moon, Shantae, you stay. Freedom, sashay away. I'm so sad to see freedom go so early. I love freedom. Freedom is a favorite analog horror character of mine, but I think she's just too stoic to last in a competition like this. Okay, we're in Untucked. If you're not familiar, Untucked is the portion of Drag Race where the queens kind of gossip and talk and it can get kind of shady. Never be glam. Boo, just because you got a sugar daddy who pays for everything for you. Oh. I'm out. Hold up. Hold up, sweetheart. Let's get it together before you want to read. I don't have a sugar daddy, sweetheart. Everything that I've had, I've worked for. And I worked for it to get, and I've built myself. So I need you to know that 100%. I don't have a sugar daddy. I've never had a sugar daddy. If I wanted a sugar daddy, yes, I probably could go out and get one because I am what? Sickening. You could never have a sugar daddy because you are not that kind of girl. Baby, everything I've had, I've worked for, and I've gotten myself. I built myself from the ground up. Bitch! You are freaks. Ha! Huh? Ha! Huh? I'm acting. So at the end of the episode, they're gonna go sit and talk about their feelings. Felix Krinkin says that he is sick of hearing Dave Lee whining for everything. I don't believe that shit for a second. I think Felix is starting drama for no reason. Dave Lee's not a whiner. Dave Lee's like everybody's bestie. 
my bias is showing, and I don't give a fuck Felix wines. Felix should stop being an alcoholic that kills children, perhaps. Special tree, Gilbert Garfield, and the moon are talking a lot, and they're bonding a lot. That's nice. I'm happy about that. So, technically, statistically, the moon is doing the worst right now. So, she's gonna have to step her celestial pussy up. Okay. In today's mini challenge, the queens will do a song about a celebrity. President James Dean won the mini challenge, not surprising to me at all, and because he is in fact a celebrity. <laughs> okay, oh no, it's a rusical. Rusicals are really shitty musicals that are, they're, I hate rusicals. Some people feel very strongly about rusicals. I hate them, so let's see what happens. So they did Rats the Rusical, just like a parody of Cats, a musical I love dearly, actually. So, President James Dean slayed the challenge. Not surprised by that. It's an acting. It's a singing. That's what James Dean is all about. This surprises me. Gabriel, Paul, and Jack had great performances. I would not have expected that, but I love to see it. Thatcher, the Moon, Intruder, and Gilbert had a good performance. Not surprised by any of those. All of the Moon, again, can't sing, but she served. She stepped her celestial pussy up. Dave Lee had a bad performance, worried about him, but again, not a song and dance kind of guy. The special tree and Felix Franken flopped the challenge. I'm starting to get worried about the special tree. They keep placing really low. Then again, they are just, you know, standing there, bending over sometimes, but that's it. So because this is not a runway challenge, there is once again a runway. The category is Phoenix. After a long night of hooking, <laughs> Trey didn't like the session, so he had good at me. Okay. And set me on fire. Oh, I see. But you know, I didn't die. Okay. I had crystallized. Oh. And now I'm a glamazon bitch ready for the runway. So what you're saying? President James Dean, Gabriel the Intruder, and the Moon slayed the runway. So the Moon is a look queen. We're establishing that. I think obviously, without a doubt, James Dean is winning this challenge. Jack Walton, Gilbert Garfield, and Special Tree had a great runway, so Special Tree maybe could save themselves with the runway. Paul and Thatcher had a good runway, and Dave Lee and Felix Franken had a bad runway. I have a bad feeling about this bottom two here. Okay. Gabriel, James Dean, Dave, Felix, Paul, Special Tree are the tops and bottoms of the week. I'm nervous. Jack, Thatcher, Intruder, Gilbert, and the Moon are safe. So the moon did step her celestial pussy up. I just like saying that, and I'm going to keep saying it. <sighs> okay, yeah. President James Dean, congratulations. You're the winner of today's challenge. We saw this coming. He placed high in the challenge and the runway. Gabriel and Paul Morelli, good job this week. You're safe. <sighs> Special tree, Felix, Crank, and Dave Lee are the bottoms of the week, and no one is safe. They are all three up for elimination. Uh, I'm mostly worried for the special tree because, again, they are a tree with no mouth who cannot sing. The song is Break Break Free by Ariana Grande. Dave Lee fake walked out, but they came back, baby, and they had a good lip sync. Yippee! Special tree and Felix Kranken flopped the lip sync. If this was truly Glitch Witch's Drag Race, Felix Kranken would be out of here, but I have a feeling the special tree's going. We have a double sachet away. This is nuts. Okay. Dave Lee, Shantae, you stay. Thank God. Thank God. I would cry if Dave Lee was gone this early. No, he's not going to win. But I need him here for at least half of this. Special tree. Sachet away. Felix Kranken, sachet away. I'm glad Felix is gone. Sad to see the special tree go. So, untucked. We're back in untucked. Um, Dave Lee leaves set after a heated argument with Jack Walton. I wonder what that was about, because you would think that Jack Walton would be pleased that Dave Lee sent Felix packing. Um, the moon is arguing with Paul Morelli, saying they have a better track record. Uh, that's just not true. I don't think moon. I don't know what you're talking about. You weren't even here the first episode. And, uh, the intruder tries on Gilbert Garfield's wig. Uh, scenario I would love to see. Okay, we're proceeding. Okay. So statistically right now, President James Dean is the one to beat. 
but Gabriel and Paul are also very high, which makes me laugh that the moon thinks that they have a better track record than Paul, who is potentially going to be in the top three if we're going off of right now. Anyway, let's proceed. Oh my god. Why so much noodles? Uh, in today's mini challenge, the queens will do a quick look about noodles. I guess I bought too much ramen this season and I'm pushing it off on everyone. Uh, President James Dean won the mini challenge. This can't stop winning. And I'm nervous because I am definitely part of the ADA. I'm anti-Dean Association in real life. I don't trust him. So let's proceed. Oh shit, bitch, it's Snatch Game. Okay. <laughs> this is so funny. So the Snatch Game is when they do the match game and they all pretend to be different celebrities. It's big improv, crazy stuff. Um, this is hilarious. So the contestants, this is who they're performing in the Snatch Game. President James Dean will do a Matt Lucas impersonation. Gabriel will do a Kim Cattrall impersonation, which I think serves very hard. Paul Morelli will do a Celia Cruz impersonation. Okay. Um, Jack Walton will do a Valeria Marini impersonation. I don't even know who that is. I'm going to keep it real with you. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Thatcher Davis will do a Bindi Irwin <laughs> impersonation. <laughs> The Intruder will do a Nicki Minaj impersonation. Gilbert Garfield will do a Dakota impersonation. I don't know who that is. The Moon will do Danny Bergoli. Also known as the Catch Me Outside girl. Catch me outside, how about that? Huh? Catch me outside, how about that? And Dave Lee will do Rossi De Palma. Let's see how they did. Gilbert Garfield slayed this shit. Of course Gilbert Garfield slayed this shit. Because they're Gilbert Garfield. They're the king of improv in this competition. Actually, no, that's not the truth, Ellen. You were invited. The Intruder and James Dean had a great performance. Good job, Nicki Minaj and Matt Lucas. Dave Lee, Gabriel, Paul Morelli had a good performance. Thank you, Dave. I needed you just to just cling for me. Jack Walton had a bad performance in that off the challenge maybe you shouldn't have picked daniel bergoli and bindi irwin good day ruth died oh, i mean my father died i ck i am sad okay proceed so it's the runway bringing it to the runway the category is delicious the intruder dave paul gabriel jack walton had a great runway of course gabriel is the delicious diva of this competition Gilbert, James, Thatcher, and the Moon had a good runway, so okay, maybe Thatcher will pull through. You know, I'm rooting for my boys. Proceed. Oh no, it's the classic about halfway through the competition, RuPaul will say, who do you think should go home? Which is also so, it's so shady. Oh, Katya. I would probably say fame. Ginger Minch. I would have to agree and say fame. Trixie Mattel. Fame. I love her, but you know, I probably have to agree just based on not winning. A challenge yet. Miss Fame, I want to hear from you. All these bitches. <laughs> James Dean, The Moon, Gilbert, Thatcher, Intruder, Jack are the tops and bottoms of the week. I'm very nervous. But Dave Lee, Paul Morelli, and Gabriel are safe. So Dave Lee is safe, thank God. So I'm asking them as RuPaul who should go home tonight and why? Jack Walton said The Moon because of their performance in the challenge. The Moon felt very upset about this. James Dean said Jack Walton because they've been trying and it's not working. <laughs> Jack Walton took it great though and they weren't too mad because Jack Walton knows that they are a talented son of a bitch. Okay. The Moon said Jack Walton because they are annoying. And then once again, Jack Walton's like, I don't give a what you say about me. And the Moon, you're annoying. <laughs> the intruder said Thatcher Davis because they don't, <laughs> they don't think they're a star. And Thatcher Davis took it great and wasn't too mad, which I call bullshit. <laughs> oh, I'm a star! Please, I'm a star! Thatcher Davis said Jack Walton because they are uns. She has the uniqueness and the nerve and the talent that lacks the charisma it takes to be America's next drag superstar. And once again, Jack Walton said, I don't care what you have to say about me. 
Uh, Gilbert Garfield said the moon because of their runway look. Moon took it great. They weren't too mad. I'm surprised that Garfield said this because previously they hadn't aligned. <sighs> Let's see what happens. The intruder won. The intruder won Snatch Game? That's crazy for being Nicki Minaj. The intruder won Snatch Game for playing Nicki Minaj. Gilbert Garfield and James Dean, safe. I can't believe the intruder beat Gilbert Garfield in an improv challenge. That's nuts. Things are happening. Uh, the Moon, Thatcher Davis, and Jack Walton are the bottoms. Jack Walton's safe, so it's it's Thatcher Davis versus the Moon. Again, I'm gonna have to say I rigged this, and I think that Thatcher Davis is gonna win because he has a mouth, and the Moon doesn't. But let's see what happens. I'm nervous. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> The lip sync song is Bad Bitch Tip by La La Ree. Thatcher Davis had a great lip sync. Yippee! The moon flopped the lip sync, because once again, no mouth to lip sync with. It's kind of easy to win that one, so. Thatcher Davis, Shantae, you say, the moon sashay away. It's going to take her a long time to get back up there, but we, we appreciate that she came down. So, back into Untucked. Jack Walton and Dave Lee think they're being overlooked. Dave Lee, you need to step it up. You're not being overlooked. You just need to step it up. Dave Lee and Paul Morelli share a cocktail. Ooh. Ooh, the mustache boys. Paul Morelli leaves sad after a heated argument with Gabriel. Gabriel probably said something dumb about Dave Lee, and Paul Morelli got upset. Let's move on. In today's mini challenge, the Queens will make a quick look about the pit crew. Gabriel won the mini challenge, and they will get a small advantage for the maxi challenge. Okay. Oh no, it's the girl group. The girl group challenge is when they team up and make girl groups, and it's always the worst song you've ever heard in your life. They will record vocals and perform in a girl group for the original song by Flop. Gabriel. As the winner of the mini challenge, you get to decide your team. So, of course, Gabriel chooses the intruder and then also James Dean and Gilbert Garfield. So, team two is Dave Lee, Paul, Jack, and Thatcher. So, I think in general, team one is probably has a better chance, but Thatcher may be able to pull them through. Team two, we'll see. So... Dave Lee had a great performance. Hell yeah. Um, Gilbert Garfield, Gabriel, James Dean, and Paul had a good performance. Jack had a bad performance. <sighs> Thatcher Davis and the Intruder flopped the challenge. That's going to be crazy if they have to lip sync against each other. Okay. The Queen's Variant to the Runway category is Amazon. Gabriel, Jack, and the Intruder slayed. Paul, James, Gilbert, and Thatcher had a great runway, and Dave Lee had a bad runway, but Dave Lee's not going anywhere because they performed great in the challenge. Okay. Oh my gosh, we're doing this again. We're asking them why, who should go home and why. Um, so everyone is top and bottom except James Dean is safe. Uh, Gabriel said Gilbert should go home because they don't want to choose their friends and they're not their friend, and Gilbert is very upset by this. Paul Morelli said Gabriel because they don't deserve the crown. And Paul, you're right. Gabriel's a sneaky little... But Gabriel doesn't care. Gabriel doesn't care. Um, Jack Walton said Gabriel because of their lack of versatility. But Gabriel was offended by this. Probably because Gabriel does kind of respect Jack Walton as a designer. Dave Lee said Gabriel because they're a clown in a house. And Gabriel felt very upset. I'm surprised Gabriel let Dave Lee get to him like that. The intruders said Gilbert Garfield because of their performance in the challenge and their runway look. Gilbert didn't give up. Um, Gilbert said Gabriel because of their track record. Gabriel didn't give up. <laughs> and once again, uh, Thatcher Davis pulled out the you have no charisma, you bald hooded. <laughs> the intruder didn't care. Because why would the why would any alternate ever care what your Lieutenant Thatcher Davis has to say? Okay, we're proceeding. Paul Morelli won? Go for Paul Morelli. Uh, Dave Lee, Jack Walton, and Thatcher Davis are safe. Thank God. <sighs> My Mandela boys are starting to stress me out. Oh no. Gilbert, Gabriel, Gilbert, and the intruder are the bottoms of the week. Gabriel is safe, so it's 
build up our sister in the intruder. I don't want to see the intruder go. Let's see what happens. The lip sync song is High Horse by Casey Musgrave. I guess Gilbert Garfield is a country queen. Looks like Gilbert Garfield and the intruder. Both didn't do great. Gilbert Garfield had a bad lip sync, but the intruder flopped the lip sync. So let's see what happens. It's a tough one for me. I think we all know this is a tough one for me. Gilbert Garfield, Shantae, you stay. The intruder sashay away. I mean, I do have to say Gilbert's just given more than the intruder has in this competition, but I am heartbroken to see my beloved intruder go away. Okay, let's proceed. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. So this is a chance for an eliminated queen to come back. This is a Lala Perusa, which is a bracket style lip sync challenge you'll see as it unfolds. Paul Morelli has full immunity from being sent home because one of the eliminated queens will come back and send a current remaining queen home. So Paul Morelli has immunity because he won last week. So, the Intruder and Thatcher Davis are gonna lip sync. That's the first lip sync we have here. Uh, this is this is a delicious showdown because we know how these two feel about each other. The lip sync song is Need to Know by Doja Cat. And the Intruder, Shantae You Stay, Davis, Sashay Away, that means that Thatcher will have to lip sync once again. And every day it hurts. It hurts so bad. So, the next one. Um. Wait, so Thatcher Davis is gone gone? Damn. That was kind of... It was kind of unceremonious. I'm confused by the format of that because usually they have to go back and like lip sync again. Okay, whatever. Um, bye, Lieutenant Thatcher Davis. Don't know why you didn't serve in a lip sync. I literally rigged it so that you would. Every day it hurts. Today is the, the reading mini challenge, which is where they just shit on each other. It's great. Uh, so Dave Lee's the first to read. So Paul Morelli, <laughs> he says, sweetie, I'm sorry, if you don't have a wristband, you can't be in here for the meet and greet. To James Dean, you remind me of a penny, two-faced and not worth much, which is funny because he's the president. So the president goes on money. Uh, next, we have Paul Morelli to Gabriel. Congratulations for being the first ever pick crew member to compete in Drag Race. To the intruder, Paul said, that maybe if you spend... <laughs> <clears throat> to the intruder, Paul Morelli says, maybe if you spent a little less time eating apples, your breath wouldn't be as shit as your attitude. Wild. James Dean. To Paul Morelli. From the House of Concreta. You are a brick. Paul does work in construction, so I understand. To Gabriel, light travels faster than sound, which is why you seemed bright until you spoke. Okay, Gabriel, to Gilbert, your birth certificate should be an apology from your mother. To the intruder, why are you reading your girl, your sis? <clears throat> be more like John Cena so we can't see you. Okay. Gilbert Garfield to James Dean. I don't have a roast for you. I didn't expect to see you in this episode. Ooh. Paul to Paul Morelli. You look like the kind of person who enjoys hemorrhoids. It's funny because Paul kind of looks like a hemorrhoid now. Sorry, Paul. Okay, Jack Walton to Gilbert. You're the reason God created the middle finger. To Dave Lee, I was gonna give you a nasty look, but I see you already got one, which makes sense that the fashion diva is reading the whatever Dave Lee is. I will say I'm shocked that Dave Lee is still here. I'm shocked. I'm shocked that Dave Lee outlived Thatcher. I did not expect that one. Okay, now the intruder's reading. Let's see. 
to Jack Walton. There's comedy queens and then there's your lip sync abilities. Okay. Paul Morelli, do you pick up satellites with those big ones? Does he mean boobs? I don't understand. Anyway, uh, Gabriel won. Gabriel won the mini challenge and gets a small advantage for the maxi. The maxi challenge is the queens will participate in a dance number about the black swan. <laughs> Why it gotta be black? Um, Gabriel gets to decide their team. And shocker, they choose the exact same team they had last time. The intruder, James Dean, and Gilbert. So, Dave Lee, Paul, and Jack Walton are team two. So, very much team one is giving me like a Relaska Talks, diva annoying mean girl group, and then team two is like the ones who are left over. That doesn't mean they're bad, because Paul and Jack have been doing really well. They're just not, they're not bothered by the drama. <laughs> okay, James Dean had a great performance. Jack, Paul, Dave Lee, and Gilbert had a good performance. The Intruder and Gabriel had a bad performance. Oh my god, if they have to lip sync against each other, the like, if we were talking real life here, the Intruder would just have to throw it. Or they're done for it. Like, you can't beat Gabriel in a lip sync. That's gonna have issues. So, there's a runway. Category is Power of Love. Jack Walton, of course, slayed the runway. Dave Lee had a great runway. So, Dave Lee's fashion skills have improved. Love to see it. James Dean, Gilbert, Paul, Gabriel, and Intruder had a good runway, so no one did that bad. Based on tonight's performance, I think this is everyone in the competition are the tops and bottoms of the week. President James Dean, congratulations, you're the winner of today's challenge. Gilbert, Gabriel, and Intruder are safe. A little confused about that because they didn't perform as well, but I guess the runway must have been that good. Jack Walton, Dave Lee, and Paul Morelli are the bottoms, and Jack Walton is safe. I can't lose Dave Lee, but Paul has done so much better. <sighs> Dave Lee and Paul Morelli are up for eliminated. The lip sync song is Deep Throat by Cupcake, which I would love to see both of these individuals perform. Dave Lee pulled out a microphone, so he's ready, but he still had a bad lip sync, and Paul Morelli flopped the lip sync, though. So I'm sure Dave Lee kind of played the funny a little bit, but it was still probably hard to watch, whereas Paul Morelli just didn't even play the funny. Oh my god. It happened. It happened. Paul Morelli, Shantae, you say? Dave Lee, Sasha away. I knew it was gonna happen. Honestly, he lasted longer than I thought he would. But officially, the, the big baddies of the Mandela catalog have outlived the humans. Shocker. Although I am happy to see Paul Morelli performing so well in this competition because I would consider him the underdog just simply because Greylock is not, uh, has not been around as long as some of these other analog horrors. Uh, and also, Paul Morelli is a, is a human, is a victim. He's not one of the you know, crazy supernatural creatures. So I, I have to give credit where credit's due. Statistically, James Dean is, is our highest performer here. Never been in the bottom. You know, multiple wins, multiple high placements, followed by Gilbert and then Jack. That's our top three. And then, I mean, Paul's been doing really good too. So let's just move on and see what happens. Today's mini challenge, the queens will do makeup tutorials with pit crew, Gilbert and Jack won the mini challenge. So uh, they're going to do a parody trailer about Mac Viva Glams. Gilbert slayed the challenge. James Dean and the Intruder had a great performance. Gabriel and Paul Morelli had a good performance and Jack had a bad performance. So let's look at the runway. Queens bring it to the runway, category is retro. The intruder slayed the runway, good for the intruder. And again, remind you, the intruder had been eliminated and came back after defeating Thatcher Davis in a lip sync while of Feruza. So love to see the intruder coming back strong. Um, Gabriel, Paul, Jack had a great runway. James Dean had a good runway. Gilbert had a bad runway, but I think Gilbert will still be okay because of their performance in the maxi. Ladies, I've made some decisions. The intruder won. We love to see it again. They went home, so they shouldn't have gone home and they came back and they're proving it. Gilbert Garfield and James Dean are safe. So Jack Walton, Paul, and Gabriel are in the bottom. Gabriel's safe. 
So it's Paul and Jack Walton up for elimination and Paul was doing so well, but it looks like he's starting to falter. So the lip sync song is Claws by Charlie XCX. Jack had a good lip sync. Yippee! Paul had a bad lip sync, so I'm worried. But I mean, I think Jack deserves to say if I was truly, if this truly was Glitch Witch's Drag Race, I would probably send Paul home at this point. Yep, Jack Walton's Chante You Stay, Paul Morelli, Sashay Away. You did good, Paul. I'm proud of you. We have some drama happening in Untucked. Gilbert Garfield and President James Dean kiss? And the intruder noticed it? And the intruder's falling in love with Gilbert Garfield. Oh my god. We have a love triangle. What is this, Dragula? Dragula notoriously had a really ugly and annoying love triangle in their All-Stars season, Dragula Titans season one. Uh, so I hope you think you annoy your competitors? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen here. Uh, poor intruder. I really would love for Gabriel to get eliminated so the intruder can kind of be free and find themselves here and maybe marry Gilbert Garfield. I'd like to go to that wedding. So this is the puppet mini challenge where the queens drag up puppets looking like their competitors and then make fun of them. And of course, Gilbert Garfield won this challenge. It's a comedy improv challenge. They killed it. They get a small advantage for the maxi challenge. Do y'all love how serious I'm saying all of this? I should be laughing a lot more. Okay. This is a runway challenge, a design challenge, and the queens will bring it to the runway. Category is Divalicious. And the intruder slayed the challenge. I think the intruder has a chance to win this whole thing at this point, which I'm thrilled. Gabriel and Jack Walton had a great performance, which makes sense. Jack is a fashion diva. James Dean had a good performance and Gilbert fought the challenge because I think we all know that Gilbert is not a look queen, not a fashion queen, they're a comedy queen. Ooh, Gabriel is the winner of today's challenge. I think it should have been the intruder, but whatever. Uh, the Intruder and Jack Walton did good, they're safe. So President James Dean, our front runner for most of this competition, is up for elimination with Gilbert Garfield, who has also been very strong, but we're in the top now, so like, you know, it's hard to, to compete. The song that they will be lip syncing to is Creep by Danny Minow, and they both had a good lip sync, so let's see what happens here. I'm nervous. Oh, the Intruder's gonna be heartbroken. President James Dean, Shantae you say, Gilbert Garfield, Sashay away. I'm sure President James Dean had a hard time sending Gilbert home because we know they kissed and untucked last time. So there's gonna be a fight in Untucked, I guarantee it. I told you. <laughs> Jack Walton and James Dean get into a huge fight with Gabriel. James Dean and the intruder plan to jump on Jack Walton Jack Walton and Gabriel kissed and it was noticed by President James Dean. Why is everyone kissing each other? What would Jack Walton's wife say? Ruth Rose? Ruth? No, that's Ruth Davis. What the? Ru <laughs> Ruth Weaver. Maybe Ruth Davis if she wouldn't have died. Rosemary. What would Rosemary say, Jack? Kissing a eldritch creature. Okay. We're doing more noodles. We're doing more noodles. Uh, in the mini challenge, the queens will do a song about noodles. The intruder won. Go for the intruder, singing a little song. This episode is the ball, which is a design challenge where they have to do three looks. The themes are black and white, water, and futuristic. The intruder slayed the challenge. Gabriel and Jack had great performance, and James Dean had a bad performance. So I think this is James Dean's fall from grace. It's crazy to see the intruder beating Jack Walton at these look challenges. I would compare it to UK season two, where they had the COVID break and before the break, Bimini Bamboo Lash was kind of eh, and then they came back after the break, just serving. I think when the intruder got eliminated and came back, they really stepped their alternacy up. Ladies, I made some decisions. The intruder, congratulations, you are the winner. The intruder is killing it. I think they could win this whole thing. Jack is safe. And Gabriel and James Dean are up for elimination. So I'm sure that Gabriel is pissed that the intruder won and they're up for elimination. Like this would be such a fight. The lip sync song is Ain't Too Proud to Bag by TLC. And they both had a good lip sync. I would love to see this lip sync. I feel like they would serve. <sighs> President James Dean, Shantae you stay. Gabriel, sashay away. Gabriel's gonna kill the intruder when she gets home. Gonna kill her.
untucked the intruder and jack walton are yelling at james dean i'm sure the intruder is freaked out because gabriel's gone has never been alone like this doesn't know what to do without gabriel the intruder then does apologize probably and heated about gabriel but james dean doesn't believe it oh this is our top three these are our top three everyone's black and white uh classic analog horror am i right uh so they perform a karaoke number to a rupaul song to pass the time so let's proceed so now the intruder is statistically the front runner. So there's a reunion before the top three, because I have it set that the top three is the finale. The uh, eliminated queens are getting a chance to read each other. Um, we have Thatcher Davis reading Paul Morelli, saying you bring everyone so much joy when you leave the room. That sounds like a Thatcher Davis read. Not funny, just kind of sad. Uh, the moon is re also reading Paul Morelli. I don't know why everyone's coming for Paul Morelli. Have you ever tried eating your makeup so you'll be pretty on the inside too? Okay, Moon. Uh, Felix to Dave Lee, not shocking because Felix hated Dave Lee. Hold still, I'm trying to imagine you with personality. How dare you, Felix? How dare you? You have no personality. Special tree reading Gilbert Garfield. I'm returning your nose. I found it in my business. Ooh. And last, Freedom is also reading Paul. Why is everyone reading Paul Morelli? I feel like he didn't do anything shady or mean. I, I feel okay so far, but I, I don't know how long that's gonna last. Um, if laughter is the best medicine, your face must be curing the world. I know that this simulator doesn't know that Paul Morelli is horribly disfigured from, uh, you know, knowledge beyond our comprehension and Mount Greylock, but ah, it's just working, it's just fitting. Um, so the contestants are voting for Miss Congeniality. Um, Paul voted for Thatcher Davis to be Miss Congeniality, which is crazy to me. Gabriel voted for the special tree. Gilbert voted for the moon. James Dean voted for Gilbert. The moon voted for special tree. Thatcher voted for Dave Lee. Jack Walton voted for freedom. Special tree voted for the moon. Dave Lee voted for Thatcher. Again, psychotic. There's nothing congenial about Lieutenant Thatcher Davis. And the intruder voted for the moon. Freedom voted for the special tree. Favoritism there. Um, Felix voted for Gabriel. The moon won Miss Congeniality. <laughs> Which I feel like she was kind of a so I don't know why. Okay, grand finale, baby. Our top three will participate in a music video for RuPaul's newest single. So... Runway, category is best drag. The intruder and Jack Walton slayed the damn runway. And James Dean did good. I mean, this is the top three. They're all gonna perform really well. Uh, but I, it's, it's, I think it's neck and neck between the intruder and Jack Walton. That's what I want. James Dean, you rotten, rotten crazy man. I don't want you to win this competition. <gasps> Jack Walton, I'm sorry, my dear. This is not your time. No sashay away. So, we're in the final two. The Intruder and President James Dean are lip syncing for their lives. And the song, Run the World, Girls by Beyonce. Oh, I'd pay to see this. Oh, I would pay to see it. <sighs> President James Dean kissed the guest judge, who I'm just going to say is Kyle Edward Ball. <laughs> President James Dean had a good lip sync. <laughs> flopped the lip sync no 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 <gasps> we did it we did it boys we did it ladies i made my decision the next drag superstar is the intruder now prince my queen oh we did it this is you know what this is exactly how glitch which is drag race season one should conclude with the intruder winning my most beloved of all analog horror characters and again this is nuts dude because the intruder was eliminated originally they were in eighth place but then they came back in that lala perusa and they kicked thatcher davis's ass and they just kept going and going and going and then they won the whole damn thing we love a redemption story Ooh, that is season one of glitch witches drag race i don't know if anyone will enjoy this as much as i did uh, very selfish video. This is content I want to see, so I just made it for myself. Uh, if you like this, let me know. I'll do a season two. Maybe we do more digital horror. We could get, like, the Rolling Giant in there. We could get, like, Ches 
Chester from Chess Kids. We could get Lacey from Lacey's Game. Maybe, I don't know if that's healthy for her. Uh, but we could, we, there's, there's, and there's so many more analog horror character, analog horror characters I could do. There really are. So let me know if this is something that you find entertaining. If any of the creators of these properties see this and are offended by my use of your characters, I'm sorry. I love you. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you think that anyone was robbed. Let me know if you agree. Were you a James Dean Stanny and you're mad that they didn't win? You're wrong if you are. It's a cat, cat butt in my face. Have a good day. Bye.